Defense One TV, Conference Wire, presented by Lidos. I'm Marcus Weisgerber here at the Space Symposium in Colorado Springs. Top Air Force and Space Force officials used keynote addresses here Wednesday to warn about threats from Chinese and Russian anti-satellite weapons, jammers, lasers, and other technologies. General Chance Saltzman, the chief of space operations, said he feared a subtle complacency was growing among American space professionals that has formed over decades with all the successes the U.S. has had. The general said that we are in a new era of space competition, one that requires companies and allies to pivot to new ways of doing business. Meanwhile, Air Force Secretary Frank Kendall said an antiquated budgeting process and a slow-moving Congress are preventing the Air Force from working on new weapons projects to counter China. For the past year, the Air Force has been wanting to start several key weapons initiatives, including a new fleet of drones that would fly in concert with human-piloted warplanes. Kendall urged lawmakers to pass legislation that would allow the military to start research and development and early efforts on weapons programs without full approval from Congress. Finally, U.S. allies are looking for ways to better protect their space assets, Kelly Sable, the head of Air Force International Affairs, said. These allies were looking to acquire satellite constellations of their own, and the Air Force is looking for ways to allow these allies to access sensitive technologies that might not have been exportable in the past. At least eight nations had pavilions here on the exhibit hall floor showcasing their space agencies and their space industries. And we spotted dozens of foreign military leaders in attendance. Be sure to check out DefenseOne.com for more coverage from the Space Symposium and more videos just like this. For Defense One, I'm Marcus Weisgerber. Hello everyone, I'm Rita Wilcoxon, NASA Strategic Account Executive at LIDOS, and I'm excited to be back at the 38th Space Symposium in Colorado Springs. It's great to be surrounded by so many leaders in the space industry who are working towards the same goal of advancing space exploration. At LIDOS, we're thrilled to showcase our space capabilities, including our work in NASA information technology, space and astronaut services, national security space, and our exciting Artemis platforms and technologies that are helping NASA return to the lunar surface. We're eager to share our vision for the future of space exploration and highlight the cutting edge work we're doing to make it a reality. But that's not all. We have a surprise exhibit that will showcase the limits of what's possible in space exploration and discovery. So make sure you stop by the Lido Space 1030 and see for yourself how we're pushing the boundaries to reach uncharted territory in space exploration. Defense One TV, Conference Wire, presented by Lidos.